Hello everyone, welcome to part 1 of How To Apex, where today I'm covering all the settings I use in game. Alright, so without further delay, let's get into the settings. One of the main things you want to do with your settings is make it so there's as little distractions in game as possible. So what you see with default interact prompt style, you have massive cards that cover like your entire screen whenever you look at any item. Uh, that's something you do not want, so compact makes those super small and they're almost transparent as well, so there's no longer as much of a distraction. So definitely run compact or interact prompt style. Button hints, if you're new to the game and don't know your binds very well, leave this on if it helps you. But if you are more experienced, you want to turn this off because again, it just eliminates some clutter on screen. So the next setting, crosshair damage feedback. I run this with off, but what you'll see with X, when you hit somebody, it'll show a little X over your crosshair. Now, what this does is again, it clutters your screen. With this turned off, you're not losing anything because you still know you hit them. You still see the damage number. You still hear the sound. But now there's no longer any visual clutter and you can get much better visibility when you're trying to shoot people. So crosshair damage feedback, turn that off. Damage numbers, I run on stacking, but this is really personal preference. Uh, floating, it does clutter your screen more, but if that's something you like to see, sometimes people just like to see those individual damage numbers. Um, that's kind of a personal preference one. Ping opacity, I run on default. You'd want to leave this one alone. Medium map rotation is one of those settings that doesn't really matter that much, but it's sort of a personal preference one. I would say turn it on, it can help you to manage your surroundings easier. Weapon auto cycle on empty, I would leave this setting turned off just so that you have more control over your gameplay. Auto sprint, double tap sprint, I both are turned off. Incoming damage I have set to 2D. Alright, so this is 2D. If they hit me. Alright, so that's two dimensions. So let's go ahead and turn that to 3D. Take a bit of damage. So what you can see is it's showing me an arrow pointing to where I'm being shot from. Which I would say... Taking damage closes death box menu. Turn this one off. If you're in a thermite, if you're in gas, if you're being shot, you still want to be able to do something like shield swapping. So definitely turn this off so that you can still shield swap successfully. Hop up, pop up. This is a pretty uh, strange one. A lot of people don't know what this does, but I'll go ahead and show you real quick. I grab a P20. Okay, there's more people. Hold up. So what we see with hop up, pop up turned off. If I pick up this hammer point, nothing happened. Right? Just it's just totally normal I picked up the hammer point but with hop up pop up turned on what we can see is when I pick up the hammer point a little pop up shows up in the bottom of my screen that tells me what the hammer point does I don't need to know what that does you're gonna want to turn that off just because it's less clutter moving on down we got a bunch of streamer mode and anonymous mode settings if you're not a streamer you don't need those, uh, they're completely irrelevant. Performance display. This is one that I have turned on just because I like to monitor my uh, latency as well as my FPS. Other than that, I have a colorblind mode turned on. I use Tritonopia. Uh, what Tritonopia does is gives you a yellow optic. I find this a lot easier to aim with. Other than that, the rest of these are just irrelevant settings. Let's move on to mouse and keyboard. So for my mouse settings, I use 650 DPI at 1.8 in game. And I actually use individual per optic ADS sensitivities. Um, what I find best for me is to leave 1x alone and then from 2 all the way to 10, I increase by 0.2. So I have 1.2 for 2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 2.0, and 2.2. I find that these settings allow me to move across the screen way easier. In general, a slower sensitivity is better. 
but you don't want to be so slow that you can't move cleanly across your screen. Moving on, mouse acceleration, mouse invert, um, turn them both off. Lighting effects, if, I don't know, it... What the fuck is that? Stop. Okay. Uh, lighting effects, turn it off, I don't know. You can leave it on if you want. In terms of keybinds, the only useful one that I actually have is I have scroll down set to jump. Scroll jumping helps with easily B hopping. Another thing it allows you to do is zipline hop. Well, basically what this allows you to do is get a bunch of height off of ziplines, just like that. That can be useful in certain situations that can help you retake high ground, but yeah. Scroll wheel jumping will allow you to do a bunch of additional things in game with your jumping. Moving on to the controller, I do not play controller. The one time I did, these are the settings I used. I don't recommend copying me because I am not a controller player. Video settings, you want to copy basically this. Everything either low or disabled, and then texture streaming wants to be either 3 or 0. 2 is going to give you some weird texture loading and unloading that can get kind of distracting. Right, as you can see right there, there's just a bunch of weird textures loading in and loading out. Can you f- But yeah, as you can see, it just gets kind of annoying with your textures constantly loading in and out. 2 to 3 does the same thing, but 3 actually gets rid of this problem. You can see textures just fully loaded all the time. So you don't have to worry about that. Anything above three is just going to give you higher viewing distance, which just really is not necessary at all in game. So I'd recommend staying at either three or zero. Other than that, everything else wants to be low or disabled, and that way you'll get a bunch of really high frames. I play 110, but this is a personal preference. Sprint view shake wants to be set to minimal. And then audio. I have sound and background turned on because I alt tab a lot, and I like to see when I actually get in game. Other than that, those are all the settings that I use in game. So there you have it. Those are all the settings I use in game. It's just a short upload today, but I do have more tutorials coming very, very soon. I have a 4,000 damage game tutorial as well as a 20 bomb tutorial coming within the next week or so. So stay posted for those. Anyway, subscribe, leave a like, comment if these settings helped you at all. Yeah, with that said, peace out.